Hey guys, John with Tops and Brews, and today I'm going to be showing you how to pour your beer more efficiently. So today I'm going to be talking about how we have all been pouring our beer wrong. Specifically, our canned beer. I bet you've been pouring this wrong the whole time. Yes, I know it's Coors. I'm not gonna waste good beer on this whole experiment for you. I just need you to see it. It's Coors Light, it's what you get. So, how do we usually pour our beer? Grab it, get a glass, crack it open, and you pour, right? Something like this, probably. That's wrong. In fact, the one step that's wrong is pouring our beer like this. I'm gonna be showing you why turning your beer to the side is going to be more efficient and better for your beer. So we are all familiar with the wide mouth of a beer can, right? See that? And what we do is we always take the beer and just pour that way. Well, what ends up happening is you get a lot of that ripplization, you know, glug, 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 glug. Especially if you're trying to do like an aggressive pour or something, you want to pour it out quick. Or you're just forced to do that really slow pour and then, you know, tilt the glass forward, everything like that, you know, oh, kind of a lot of timing mechanics, you feel it. Well, I started actually opening up and pouring from the side because from the side, you're going to be getting a little air gap. You actually get a narrower mouth, but you're allowing for more airflow and more liquid to be passed through. This will also cause a steadier stream causing less irritation to your beer, causing less carbonation to escape. Once you're at the very end, you can then do an aggressive pour, and boom, a beautiful perfect pour. That even feels good too. You just feel it's an easier pour. I'm gonna show you what I mean. So first off, I'm gonna show you a standard pour. Do you see it? Do you see that ripple? It's causing way more CO2 to escape. And I'm having to tilt the can. So now let's take a look what happens when we turn the beer sideways before we pour. As you can see, we are getting a much smoother stream of beer flowing into our glass. Now just to recap, let's take a look at both of these side by side. You can clearly see that the standard pour is rippling out of control versus the new sideways pour, which, which is a nice smoother pour. Also look at how much of a steeper angle I can get with the sideways pour versus the standard pour. This means I'm getting the beer out even faster. This is also your standard pour. So as we can see with this regular pour, all the rippling effect that this beer is giving us, this is causing aggravation to the beer and causing the carbonation to activate faster than it should. With each ripple, it's extracting more and more CO2, which should stay in the beer to make a tasty beverage. This is pouring from the side. Now, with the sideways pour, we can clearly see that at the top there, there is actually an opening in the can, allowing airflow. Also, the tab is naturally creating that window right there for us. So it makes it extremely easy. We're getting a nice, smooth, draft-like pour out of our can. This gives us the best possible experience for our beer. Draft-like, one could almost say.
So we notice that the standard pour has a way more aggressive carbonation release going faster than it should. And the beer that was poured sideways, we can see that there's still a steady stream of some carbonation, but because the carbonation was not disturbed as much, it's still going to retain more of its carbonation longer. As you can see, the standard pour is a lot more aggressive. You're getting more irritation out of your beer, out of any liquid actually, to where when you turn to the side, you actually have a much smoother pour. It actually is more like a draft system. You're getting a steady stream and it's not being agitated. Now, the aggressiveness of the pour is controlled by the glass hand and how you want to tilt it. This is very similar to how you would pour your beer at a bar or a draft system. You would have a constant steady stream and then you would adjust the angle of your glass. Now you can have more of that experience with a can. Now if you're a soda or sparkling water or cider drinker and if it's in a can I would recommend that you start pouring it from the side and you'll notice that it's a much easier pour and you can then adjust the aggressiveness by tilting your glass instead of having to finagle and just try you're doing too many angles at once to where if you turn to the side you only should be have to rely on a single angle and it'll give you a nice clean pour so the next time you crack open a beer remember turn it to the side get that nice clean pour that stream and you can just adjust as needed Cheers. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Remember hit like and subscribe. Follow me on all my other social media shenanigans. The links for all that will be at the very bottom of the description. Um, you know, if you scroll past that, that's where comments go. What'd you think of this? Have you ever tried messing with how you pour beverages or anything? Honestly, really try the sideward angle pour. You feel the difference. That's how big it is. You just notice it. Once I found this out, it was great. Let me know if you got to try it. Let me know what you think below. Cheers. And yes, I cut the tip of my finger off.